So when your Yamaha is not reliable enough, what do you do? You go and take your Ducati. G'day gang, how you going? I thought I'd uh, give you a bit of an update where we're at with the cylinder heads. So I've been in constant contact with Gowan Lock um, to the point where I've probably starting to wear out the welcome mat a bit, but Nathan's been very, very, very good and very accommodating. So I ring every few days, where are we at, what's going on? And the reality is that the cylinder heads are ready to go, with the exception of that one inlet valve that we're still waiting on out of Italy. Why is it taking so long? It's, um, it's been six weeks now, and uh, next week will be week seven. Their lead time is, three to six weeks from when they receive the um, the order. And I think Nathan said that was the 21st of January or something like that. So, you know, we've just gone past week six. Rumour has it that they moved the warehouse facility in Italy. And since then, that three to six weeks has become six weeks and then some. I was a bit concerned that COVID-19 or coronavirus um, may have had an impact on staffing levels and they might, might be having issues actually just getting the parts in bags and out the door. The Italians are probably never likely to let us know. <laughs> so um, you run on assumptions. However, um, Nathan said to me that they're still getting parts. So um, if they're still getting parts, that means that um, you know, they've obviously got people packing, picking and packing. So it's just a... Uh, uh, a game of patience now um, and I'm pretty keen to get this bike back together again before winter starts to set in. Um, my long term plan is I, the other night I booked uh, a trip to the mainland and back on the Spirit of Tasmania for the Island Classics at Phillip Island in January for the, I think it's the weekend of the 24th of January uh, and I've nominated the license number for for the Ducati. Um, I took old basket case last year, uh, for those of you that follow the channel uh, pre-Ducati, and um, you would have seen the series, the uh, Rot Sausage Tour, where we went across to Phillip Island and I had all sorts of trouble with basket case, cooking in 47 degree temperatures and then took out the regulator rectifier and a number of other components and all of the drama that unfolded with that. So when your Yamaha is not reliable enough, what do you do? You go and take your Ducati. So that's what I'm planning on doing next year. Uh, so yeah, we're just playing a waiting game now. I'll keep you. I'll keep you up to speed. Hopefully this time next weekend, you know, we'll we'll be into reassembly. Although my folks have come down from the mainland, and they're wandering around the state in a caravan, and uh, they're planning on being here. Uh, next weekend so we'll see how we go but in the meantime thank you for watching um, and thanks for taking such a lot of interest in this in this channel and uh, what we're doing with the Duke uh, don't forget to like subscribe and comment and I will catch you next time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions bye for now